Hello sports fans, it's me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, and today I have, I'm getting back to my roots with a card and dice game for you. <laughs> kind of a mismatch, and you know, sometimes I think it's interesting to play mismatches. Now, uh, this is going to be the 66 Washington Senators, who were 71 and 88. Now, you're thinking, alright, 71 and 88, that's not absolutely terrible and horrible, but they're going up against the 1988 Oakland Athletics, and they were 104 and 58. So, something like a 33 game difference there. Uh, so, that's what we're going to do today. Um, I'm going to have a three game series. This is the first of the three games. So, there will be three games between the teams, and uh, we're, we're televising game one right now. Game one will feature um, Pete Richard for the Washington Senators going up against, uh, for the 66 Senators, going up against Dave Stewart of the 88 Oakland Athletics. So, without further ado, let's get started. We have the first batter for the Senators. The Senators will be the visiting team. Our is going to be uh, Fred Valentine, the right fielder. And he gets a 1-8 roll, which is a walk. So Fred Valentine works a walk from Stewart, and he's aboard with no outs. Which brings up um, Fred McMullen. Fred McMullen gets a 4-6 on uh, Stewart, which is a strikeout. So he's gotten it bat. Stewart gets a K. One out. That brings up Frank Howard. Frank Howard, their big power hitter for the team, and he gets a triple one to three single. And that's going to be a single double asterisk. So, Frank Howard gets a hit off of the big man, Dave Stewart. And Stewart getting in a little bit of trouble here, a little bit of hot water early. Which brings up Jim King, the right fielder, who had 10 home runs and 310 at-bats that year. And he gets a 6-7, which is a strikeout. So Stewart strikes out his second man of the inning. And that is Jim King. And that brings up Don Locke. Don Locke today playing center field for the team. And he gets a 5-8, which is a ground ball to the shortstop. The shortstop is, in this particular case, Walt Weiss. That's an 8-2 at shortstop, which is an out. Just missed getting an on by an error, but he didn't. So Washington, despite threatening in the first, gets nothing. They walk away with no runs. And that brings up the powerful 1988 A's lineup. To face Pete, or er, yeah, Pete Richard. Louis Polonia gets a 4 9, which is a home run for Louis Polonia. Not known for his power, and this is uh, the basic game. Again, if you are unfamiliar with my channel, when I play card and dice, I only play um, the basic game because it's quicker and it's easier and I, it's just more enjoyable for me. So you have to believe that, uh, yeah, he's weak against both. So in the advanced game, he wouldn't have gotten a home run, but he does here. And in real life that year, he had two. So it's not as if he couldn't do it. So Dave Henderson is up, and the A's have a one nothing lead, and that's a 5-5, five five, which is a strikeout. So Dave Henderson, who you might have expected would have hit a home run, strikes out. That brings up Jose, can you see Canseco, and he gets a 2-3, which is a ground ball, out, and he is out, and he grounded out to the shortstop if you're scoring at home, and that brings up Mark McGuire, and Mark McGuire gets a 6-10, which is a ground ball, second base C, and he is out. So the A's do get a run on an unlikely Louis Polonia homer, and take the one nothing lead. And that will bring up uh, Ken Harrelson. And he gets a 3-5, which is a single. So they are, you know, the, the Washington team is getting on against Stewart. 
They do manage to get on. They just didn't score last inning, and let's see if they can do it this inning. Ken Harrelson aboard and Paul Casanova up, and he gets a 2-2, which is a foul out to the catcher. So that's one away. That brings up Bob Saverin, and he gets a 6-5, and 6-5 on Stewart is a double one to four single double asterisk. And that is going to be a double. Yeah, that's a double. And I can send the runner, but that's it's Harrelson. He's a 1 to 13. 1 to 13 going to right feet from the right fielder. And the right fielder for the A's is Canseco, who probably has a pretty good arm. Negative three. So it would be 1 to 10 for Harrelson. I'm not going to send him. So with one out. And runners at second and third, Ed Brinkman is up. And he gets a 5-8, and that is a ground ball to the shortstop. That's Weiss. He's a 2. And that's a 2-2, two -two, and that's going to be a single 1. So, Brinkman gets a... Uh, Brinkman gets a single and an RBI. And so, let's see. Yeah, so a runner goes to third. So there's runners at the corners, one out, and Fred Valentine back up. And he gets a 3-3, three, three, which is a ground ball, second base, a double play. Yeah, it's a double play, so... Because the A's did not, their A's are not worried and they didn't bring the infield in. So Washington walks away with just the one run, but that does tie the game at three. And now you got Mark McGuire. Or no, you, um, Carney Lansford. Carney Lansford is now up, leading off in the uh, bottom of the second for Oakland. That's a 6 8 on Richard, which is a double one to nine or a fly ball. And that is going to be a double. So you got Lansford ripping a double down the line. Both teams, offensively, both teams come out um, looking pretty good here. Uh, Steinbach is up with no outs, and he gets a 6-6, six, six, which is a strikeout. Richard strikes him out. One away, Walt Weiss. Walt Weiss lines out into a double play. Uh, he lines out to shortstop if you are scoring at home. And so the A's get no runs there despite the leadoff double by Carney Lansford. So that will, let's, let's lay out the dugout here, here for the A's. So that brings up uh, Ken McMullen in the top of the third. Washington and he gets a 1-9 which is a strikeout. Believe he's been struck out twice now by uh, by Stewart. One away. Frank Howard 4-8. That is a ground ball second baseman. The second baseman for the A's I believe is a is maybe a Oh, he's a three. Glenn Mother Hubbard, 18 and three. 18 and three is an out. Roll, or it's a roll another 20 sider. So that nine and three is an out. So that is. Yeah, that's two out. Yeah. And that brings up Jim King, and Jim King gets a single. So that is the fifth hit allowed by Stewart. And that brings up Don Locke with a man on and two out, and that's a 5-6. And that's a single. So Don Locke ripping a hit. Yeah, it's a lot of hits here allowed by Stewart. I'm surprised. And Ken Harrelson is up, and he gets a 5-7, and that is a strikeout. 
So, um, Stewart strikes out his fourth guy. Not too bad, but he's allowing a lot of hits. He is allowing a lot of hits to this 66 Senator team. So that takes us to the bottom of the third. Stan Javier is up and he gets a 3 7, which is a single one 18. And he does have a single. And that is another hit for Richard. And Javier is an A stealing and. Um, Casanova is a negative four arm, so that would be one to fifteen, I believe, net before the arm. Which let's see, one to fifteen, right? So it would be a one to fifteen minus three is a one to twelve. They're going to try it. They're going to try the steal, and he does make it. So, and again, I use the, I use a mix when I, pl I am playing the basic game, but I do, um, I do use a mix of the, um, advanced and the basic, um, such as for outfielder arms, but, um, in the, uh, stealing, in the stealing, I stick with the, um, uh, with the basic version. So Glenn Hubbard is up with a, now a man at second and no outs. And he gets a 6-4 on Richard, which is a fly ball right field. So he flies out to right. That's one away. Brings up Louis Bologna, who homered last time, if you'll remember. And he hits a ground ball to the shortstop. The shortstop is Ed Brinkman, who I believe is a 2. Yes, he is. And that's an 18. And that is an out. And the runner stays where he is, so ground out for Polonia to short to Brinkman and up steps Dave Henderson who gets a 3-6 and strikes out. So strike out for Richard, third of the game. The score remains tied despite the fact that Javier was able to get on first and then steal with no outs. Paul Casanova is up at the plate. He gets a 6-5 on Stewart, which is a double 1-4 to four or a single. Again, they continue to hit him up. And uh, that's a single for Casanova. Seventh hit allowed by Dave Stewart here. Saverin is up, and he gets a 6-11, which is a fly ball to the left fielder. And the left fielder for the A's is... A one, that's Javier. Not, nothing gonna really happen there. 19 and one is a roll again. 11 and one is an out. So if he'd been anything else, that would have been a guy on base, big time. But Saverin uh, gets out. So we bring up Brinkman with one away, one on, and he gets a two four, which is a ground into a double play at shortstop. So the Washington team is out of that inning, but you know what? This 66 Washington team is putting up a pretty good battle here against the 88 powerful A's. Canseco is up, and he gets a 4-6 on Richard, which is a walk. So Canseco with a walk. Canseco's a double A, so he's definitely going to steal. It's going to be a 1-15, um, to I think. Something like that. Uh-oh, that's a 15. Let's see. We better check that. 1 to 17, and then Casanova. No, Casanova's a negative 4. So it's a 1 to 13, so he's gunned. He is out. So Canseco thrown out trying to steal. That's one away. McGuire up, and he gets a 2-5, which is a strikeout. Richard with his fourth K of the game. And Carney Lansford gets a 6-4, which is a fly ball right field C. So Lansford flies out to right. The A's don't score anything. We go to the top of the fifth, still in a 1-1 tie game. With Valentine up, and he gets a 5-8. It's a ground ball shortstop. That is Weiss. He's a 2. 
That is a 17. That's probably going to be an out. Uh, it is. So he grounds out to short. That's um, Valentine grounding out to short. McMullen is up and he gets a 4-3 on Stewart, which is a strikeout. That's two away. McMullen. And there's a strikeout. And that brings up Frank Howard, their power hitter, and he gets a single. He gets a board with a hit. Again, they are getting to Stewart as far as getting runners on base, but not as far as scoring them. Jim King is up, and he gets a 2-5, which is a single. And that brings up Don Locke. And Don Locke gets a 4-7, which is a single, and they may actually send the runner. No, it's Frank Howard, and there's no way in <laughs> God's green earth they're sending him. So uh, Locke gets a hit, and they're going to have to depend on another hit. Although they are getting a lot. Here's Ken Harrelson, who I believe has a hit today, and that's a 6-3 ground ball first base X. The first baseman for the A's is McGuire, and he's a three, and that's an 18 and three. Let's see what that bad boy is. Uh, oh, wait, no, I was on the right chart. 18 and three is a one base error. So McGuire makes an error, and everybody is safe. Harrelson on. That is on by an error, though, so it counts as an out, and it's an error for. Um, it's an error for McGuire. And that brings up Casanova. And Casanova gets a 2-8, which is a line out to second base. So Casanova ends the rally, which results in one single run for the A's. And we go to the bottom of the fifth, and there's activity out in the A's bullpen right now, as you might well expect. Terry Steinbach is up. He gets a 1-8. And that's a home run 1-11 to or a double. And that's a double. So Terry Steinbach with a leadoff double. Another hit allowed by Richard. And that brings up Walt Weiss who gets a 3-5. Which is also a single. They're going to leave Steinbach there. They're not going to send Steinbach because, um, you know, it's Steinbach. But there are runners at the corners with no outs. And Stan Javier up, and he gets a 1-9, which is a fly ball, center field B, which scores the runner on third. So there's one away. Javier gets an RBI. another earned run. Glenn Mother Hubbard gets a 4-11 which is a ground ball shortstop and that is Brinkman who's a 2, one of their few good defensive players but at 3-2, no that's still an out 1. Not a double play though so there's 2 outs with a runner at 2nd. And that brings up Louis Polonia who gets a 6-5 which is a strikeout. But the A's tie the game. And now we are all tied up at one apiece, and that's going to be it for Stewart. Stewart only pitches five innings. And they will go to... They are going to bring in Rick Honeycutt. To pitch in the sixth against this powerful Washington lineup. Saverin comes up to the plate and he gets a 3-9 which is a fly ball to right. One away. Ed Brinkman up. He gets a 4-7 which is a strikeout on Honeycutt's card. Mm -hmm. 
And that brings up Valentine, who gets a 4-7, and that is a strikeout. So, let's see, Valentine, strikeout. Honeycutt strikes out two, allows no runs. We go to the bottom of the sixth, still tied at two. Richard's still out there, though. Henderson is up, and he gets a 1-7, which is a ground ball shortstop. A, one away. Canseco is up, and he gets a 2-3, which is a ground ball to shortstop, and he's out. And that brings up McGuire, who gets a 1-8, and that's a walk. So McGuire gets aboard with a walk. Second walk allowed by Richard, but with two outs, and Lansford up, and that's a 6-4, and that will be a fly ball right field C. So uh, maybe I gave this 88 um, A's team a little too much credit, because Richard is holding them down. And also, Richard pitched uh, that year in 1966 for Washington. He pitched 246 innings. And he was a starter seven, so he generally went at least seven most of the time, or averaged going seven. So he wouldn't be tired quite yet. Um, Ken McMullen up on the top of the seventh. Honeycutt still out there. That's a 6-2. That's a fly ball right field X. The right fielder is a three. That's Conseco, and that's a six. So 6-3 on the outfield is an out, one away. So, so McMullen's out. And that brings up Frank Howard, Big Frank. That's a 5-6 on Honeycutt's card, which is a fly ball to right. And that brings up with two down, Jim King. And Jim King gets a 4-8, which is a home run. No, it's the wrong guy. <laughs> no, that'll be a ground ball shortstop. And that's a two. He's a two, and that's an 11. 11 and two is an out. So Jim King is out. And we go to the bottom of the seventh. No run scored there by Washington. It is a 2-2 two -two tie still. Terry Steinbach up, 3-9, that's a walk. So Steinbach gets a board again. He had a double the last time up, and he gets a walk this time. Walt Weiss up, no outs, man aboard, and that's a 110, which is a ground ball B. So now Weiss is aboard, he's a stealing D, he's not going anywhere. That brings up Stan Javier, and Stan Javier gets a 6-5, which is a strikeout. Sixth strikeout of the game for Richard, and that brings up uh, Glenn Mother Hubbard, and he gets a 5-6, and that's a strikeout. So, um, I don't know, Richard has pitched masterfully. It's 2-2, two two, so we'll see what happens with him in the eighth, but uh, I think the Washington would be crazy to take him out, depending on if they can score some runs here. And Don Locke is the man who's going to come up and face um, Honeycutt for his third inning. But they do have um, action in their bullpen. 4-10, that is a... That's a home run 1-11. to And it's going to be a double. So, they lead off with a Don Locke double. And just as, you know... The uh, A's realize that Honeycutt might be getting tired because that's the first hit he's allowed, and this is going into starting his third inning of pitching. That brings up Ken Harrelson, and he gets a 4 6, which is a ground ball second baseman. And the second baseman for this team is a 3. It's Glenn Hubbard, and he gets an 18. 18 roll on a 3 is a roll again. And that's a 7. 7 and 3 is an out. One away. Harrelson out. That brings up Casanova with one down, and that's a 4 6. That is a ground ball second base, second base three again. 11 and 3. That is an out with no runners, two away. Runner stays at second. 
and that brings up Bob Saverin, who gets a 5-9, and he hits a fly ball to center, and he's out. So Honeycutt is going to probably be exiting after three, but we'll deal with that when we come back. Right now, we're going to the bottom of the eighth in a tie game at two. Luis Polonia up. He gets a 3-9. That's a strikeout. And you can see they're going to, they're sticking with Richard and, you know, why not? I mean, the guy has pitched great. He struck out eight, allowed only two runs. Henderson is up and he gets a 5-4. That's a catcher. The catcher is Casanova, who is a two. That is a 19. 19 and two is roll again. Three and two is a safe at first on drop pop up. So Paul Casanova, you don't expect that from him. But he allows Dave Henderson to get on by an error. That could be costly. There's one out and Henderson aboard and Canseco up and it is very costly as Canseco goes deep and hits a two run home run. Only one of those is earned, however. So, McGuire up with one out, the base is empty, and he gets a strikeout. So, it's a shame to see that happen because you know that, uh, I mean, it's come all this way and the 66 Senators have only gotten two runs. For them to get two more in the top of the ninth, you would think is unlikely. 6-8. Um, for Lansford, that is a double one to nine or a fly ball. And that's a 15, so he flies out to center field. So Lansford out, and, uh, the, uh, and that's it for the A's. But they do get two more runs, so now they have a 4-2 to two lead, top of the ninth. Um, Ed Brinkman is up. I don't know if they're going to stick with him. Oh, and Honeycutt will come out of the game. So they're going to bring in, I guess, we're going to have to try to find their closer, which was probably Eckersley, and it is. So they're going to bring in Eckersley. And, uh, yeah, I don't know if they're going to really want Brinkman hitting here. However, if they don't have a much better hitter, and it doesn't appear that they do, they might go with that. Yeah, they're going to go with that because they don't have really, they don't much have a choice here. Brinkman up, and he gets a 4, a 11, and that's a ground ball to the shortstop. That is... Um, Weiss, and that's a 10. That's going to be an error on, yeah, buddy. That's a two base error on uh, Weiss. So, lead off two base error by the shortstop brings up Fred Valentine, and he gets a 4 5, and that's a triple 1 to 2 or a single. That's going to be a single double asterisk that knocks in one run. And uh, so let's see here. Eckersley allows a hit, but not an earned run because he was on by a two base error. That brings up Ken McMullen. And Ken McMullen gets a 2 9, which is a single. So I don't know. I don't know what's happening here. This is incredible. Um, I mean, first you're playing a very powerful, very good team that you should be losing easily to, but the score is now 4-3, and you got two runners on and no outs, and Frank Howard up, and you're facing the best pitcher in the universe, and that's a 3-5, which is a strikeout. Just missed a home run possibility. So Howard 
striking out. And that brings up Jim King. And Jim King gets a 4-7, which is a ground ball to the second baseman. That's Glenn Mother Hubbard. That's an 11 on a 3 is an out with no runners on. So fielder's choice, two away. Jim King is out. And that brings up Don Locke. It's all up to Don Locke. And he gets a 6-7 and strikes out. And that my friends is how it ends with Eckersley going one getting the save um, Honeycutt I believe getting the win and Richard getting the loss going all eight innings or yes he pitched eight because that's all he could pitch and allowing three earned runs as the A's win game one um, by the score of four to three, the slimmest of margins that you would not expect. And that's going to be it for me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke. Signing off, wait for game two.